Now, this unfortunately what it can do is the n problems that I create over here for all i from 1 to n, all wi could be exactly the same random weight vector and the solution will be exactly the same. So it's n similar problems and therefore I make use of a I make use of a rule which I'll give it without proving. So I'll say closer are wi and wj in the Euclidean space. So that means if distance between wi and wj are very similar to each other or the Euclidean distance between wi and wj which are both m cross 1 vector are very close to each other. Closer are the optimal solutions in the objective space for the two problems they represent. Which means the first problem is finding out the minimum of GWI A. And the second one is GWJ effects. So these two will be very close to each other if the weights are very close to each other. And let's look at it diagrammatically rather than as a text. So I first draw a objective space which is one and common for all. It's come from some division space around over here. So I have F1X and I have got F2X. So let's draw two weight vector a WI. The origin is the utopian point. And with that, let's draw in two. So let that be WI. And WJ is very close to WI. That means WJ will be something like this. So W and WJ are very close to each other. Let's draw the actual Pareto front over here. And let's draw the surface normal as well. So this is the surface normal for Wi. So this is the solution. Let's say x of i or f of x of i. which is the minimum for this line and let's draw the surface normal for the other one. So this is the WJ normal. And this is the optimal solution. So there will be an optimal solution xi xj in the addition space and I take the f value of it or I take in, I pass it through the division space to objective space mapping or I calculate f1 times xi, f2 times xi, f3 times xi and plot that as a point. So now because w, i and wj are close to each other, therefore you get this thing that they are also close to each other. If they would have been far, these two individuals would have been far. So now let's relook at the algorithm with this aim in mind, with this thing in mind that two weight vectors, if they are very close to each other, the optimal solution in the objective space is also, are also very close to each other. So this is the objective space. And if two weights are further away, away from each other, if the two weights are very different from each other, then their optimal solutions are also further apart from each other. 
So now my aim was you, number one, non-dominated solution. This technique always gives you non-dominated solution because any weight vector that you give, it'll give you a unique non-dominated solution. So any weight vector you take, it'll give you a non-dominated solution. So that's all they taken care of. The second thing was diversity. I had to increase the diversity over here. I had to make these individuals diverse. I cannot make these individuals diverse because it's not in my hand, but I can make these diverse. So let's do that. My algorithm is now select n diverse weight vectors. There are heuristic techniques on how to form diverse weight vectors. I form one to n and for all i from 1 to n, I just solve the problem to minimize GW i effects, which is to minimize so that's the weight vector. Oops. Which is to minimize the weight vector dot f of x minus the utopian point. So whichever x gives that to me, that will be one diverse individual on the Pareto fund. That will be one diverse individual on the Pareto fund. Let's hold that up. Now, this again is an extremely bad algorithm because the good thing is I can take n processors and solve it independently. But if I have one processor, I would like the individuals to share information. Maybe for optimizing i, I just got a better solution for i plus 3 or i plus 5 or uh, general k. For optimizing k, I got a better solution for l. So for optimizing fifth objective function, I accidentally optimized the third objective function. So the individual should share a lot of information. The individual should share a lot of information. So I will adapt the algorithm for exactly the same requirements. So let's say this is my population at time t. Which has n individuals. So the rule that I use is this individual optimizes GW1, this individual optimizes GW2, and similarly the i individual, this individual optimizes So every individual is a different objective function, which is a weird optimization. If you look at it from the Pareto point, front point of view, this is my view. So now I'll not draw the lines, they become dirty, so I'll only draw the perpendiculars. So this is W1, this is W2. This is W3, this is W4, this is W5, and so on and so forth. So, this is what I say is F of X1, the first individual. This is F of X2, the second individual. This is F of X4, the fourth individual. This is F of X3, the third individual. This is F of X5, the fifth individual. So in my Pareto firm, the first individual will be this after optimization. The second individual will be this after optimization. The third individual will be this after optimization. The fourth will be this after optimization. And the fifth will be this after optimization. So 
that's how my population is organized and that is weird because normally in optimization we started off one objective function now every individual has a different objective function that's because a single objective optimize a multi objective optimization problem is broken into n single objective optimization problem and every individual is given one independent problem to solve and now we are discussing how can we probably have some kind of a relationship between each other so there's nothing to select there's nothing to select over here so i really need to make a better child for this eight individual and therefore what do i do is in order to produce child number i which probably will be better for the eight individual let me select two parents a parent one and a parent two now if your parents are too far away from the child you're solving a different problem so that's what we normally say two close by parents produce a close by child and that's how the child really improved itself the children were formed intermediate to the parents and here every individual is a different objective function so every individual would like to solve in a different problem and because every individual would like to solve in a different problem it tries to select close by parents to produce a close by child and that close by child tries to overtake or it tries to replace its parent so how do i do that now i need to find out for the child i which are the two neighboring individuals and if i keep on finding out neighbors at each and every point of time again i will get into a lot of complexity issues so i again use the same concept two individuals which are close in the weight space wi and wj are also close in the objective space so i define a term neighborhood of weight i So this is defined as the closest let's say k weights excluding i to w i and let us say that i graphically try to show this thing to you so for the first time let me draw a new space that's called as a weight space So all the weights are over here. So this is W one, this is W two, this is W three. So the weights are m dimensional vectors. So that's the first dimension. That's the second dimension. So the subscript is the dimension number, and the superscript is the weight number. So my first mantra was to select diverse space, and as you can see, the distance between all of them is pretty large. All of them are pretty far away from each other. That is how I selected in the random weight vectors. Now I need to define the neighborhood. Let's say two neighbors for each. So for W one, the closest two neighbors will be W five and W four. For W four, the closest two vectors will be W one and W two, and so on and so forth. So I take in the k closest neighbors. I take in the k closest neighbors. Now my mantra is that if two weights are close in the weight space. then their individual solutions are also close in the objective space so that's objective space
So that's F1, F2. So W4 and W1 are close to each other, so the optimal solution will also be close to each other. And if W4 and W3 are further away from each other, the optimal solution will also be away from each other. That's a funda. So... That is f of x4, f of x1, f of x3, and so on. So if two weights are close to each other, the corresponding optimal solutions in the objective space are also close to each other. If two weights are far away from each other, the space are far away from each other. For one individual, let us say x of i, I want to... For one individual, let us say x of i, which is around over here, I need to select parents. So I select parents which are nearby. So I don't select parents which are further away. Now, and instead of discuss, I mean, finding out all the current solutions and which of them are nearby and doing sorting and doing all that calculation, I use these pre-decided weights to find out who the neighbors are in the weight space. Uh, 